we see that in Mosiah chapter one, particularly in verses one through nine, there's a lot of discussion about what the scriptures do for people. Uh, and to give an idea of this, King Benjamin says, my sons, I would that you should remember that were it not for these plates, which contain these records and these commandments, we must have suffered in ignorance, even at this present time, not knowing the mysteries of God. Now, there's going to be other consequences for not having the scriptures in their lives that we could look at mm -hmm. continuing forward, consequences of dwindling in unbelief um, or just falling into false traditions. And so the scriptures help to ground us in the teachings and the direction that God would have us go in our lives. What are your thoughts, Amber? Well, I feel like if you go over to verse 16, it refers to the Leahona, which was prepared by the hand of the Lord, that thereby they might be led, everyone according to the heed and diligence which they gave unto him. And a comparison has been made between the Leahona and the scriptures. Mm -hmm. They are what lead us. And to me, this diligence is that heed. Like, don't just read the scriptures and be like, check, got it, see you tomorrow. It's reading the scriptures and like, what's the in-between? It's following that instruction that you received in the scriptures and making it a part of your life. To me, that's the diligence. And I, I love how Amber said that. I was taken back instantly when you said that uh, to a talk that President Faust gave when I was in high school. And he talked about a young man who was reading the scriptures every day. He was actually enjoying reading the scriptures, but then his actions at school were contrary to what the scriptures were encouraging him to do. Uh, and, and so that idea of taking heed is, what do I learn from the scriptures that I'm then going to apply in my life? How am I going to more faithfully walk on the covenant path because of what I've studied today? Mm -hmm. And that's the difference between just reading and actually experiencing the scriptures. Yeah, that's where the change of heart comes that you, you want. You know, I remember like being on my knees one time listing, I'm like, Heavenly Father, I need to do better at this and I need to do better at that. Like the overwhelming, like I need to do so much better. And the spirit literally interrupted me and said, just improve your scripture study. And through that diligence, through improving that study, all those other things that I needed to prove on, improve on, they started sorting themselves out. That is the power of diligently studying. It will change you. <laughs>